Hi, my name is Don Seifert and I'm a Penn State Extension Educator with the Tree Fruit Program. One of my responsibilities is working on IPM, Integrated Pest Management. And one of the things that involves is spotter and lanternfly research. So what I'm here to talk to you today about is tree banding. The PDA tree banding program, uh, specifically you band Idlanthus trees, tree of heaven, uh, and you catch nymphs as they climb up the tree during the day. So what I have here is the tree band you'd get from PDA, some thumbtacks that you'll need to, get, to pin the band to the tree, and the labels you'll put on the bands throughout the season. To start banding a tree, you'll want to find a tree, an Ilanthus tree, though this is not an Ilanthus, uh, and you'll place your band about chest height. One of the first things you should do is measure the tree and then measure the band so you know how much band you'll need. So what I'm doing here is measuring the tree band so that we have the right diameter to fit around the tree that we're gonna band today. I'll cut the band. And then from there, we'll place it around the tree. So what you'll do is you'll wrap your band around the tree and then pin it in place to make sure that it stays. You wanna make sure that your band is very tight. Otherwise, the lanternfly nymphs, as they climb up the tree, will get underneath the band and then they'll make it to the top and you won't catch them. So what you'll do after you band your tree is you'll take your PA label, your PDA label, and put it on the tree band. You'll have written your ID number for your, your ID for the banding program, uh, and then what number tree this is. So if this is your first tree, it'll be 001, your next tree will be 002, and so on. And from then on, throughout the season, you'll continue to label trees in order, in numeric order, uh, until July. So you'll run this program between May and July.